So should you buy a minivan? I'm gonna lean towards a hard yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the question we're gonna try and help you answer in this video today. So the first thing we're gonna look at here is just how much storage really is inside one of these minivans. It's rather impressive. It's very impressive. So there is just a ton of storage in the back here. I mean, the seats are up. It sinks down in here to the bottom. You can put a ton of groceries in here. We got this huge uh, high chair back here for our baby that is coming. If you can see how big that box is, um, you can sit plenty of suitcases back there. Oh yeah, and all your family's goodies. If you got a baby, obviously you travel with a lot of stuff. There's some great smaller compartments back here for extra. We have a golden, so we keep a lint roller, little things like that. It's super great. Yeah, so and now let's really get to the how much storage you really have in here. We're gonna go ahead and put some of these seats down. So we have got almost all the seats down, except for that one we got our, um, little baby seat there so but you got a, a massive amount of storage in here and what's great about it <clears throat> is you have choices so if you only need like one big side you can just fold down this or you don't have to fold down your whole back seat which is really awesome if you need to have one seat up you can leave one seat up for a family member and then fold the other ones down and still have all that room and uh, we have put some huge pieces or of, of furniture yes. and boxes in We've here in our entire nursery in this van and out so it has been fantastic yeah and so we have you know we had really been looking at possibly getting a truck because like you you need you know something okay. something to get furniture and big mm -hmm. pieces and this does it like we there is so much room in here like you you don't have to worry about that so it gives you more options for vehicles so oh absolutely you can, like totally camp in this sucker you really <laughs> could Next, I think this is kind of really the obvious thing when it comes to minivans that everyone really knows, is truly how much space you have for your family. So uh, you can see there's a the driver's seat there. You got a ton of leg room. We have, you know, room for the baby and then we got room for everyone in the back there. You truly can sit six to seven people in here easy and not have to worry at all. And so comfortably too. The, the space in it is fantastic. Like we're, Jerry's very tall and I'm not terribly short and we both always have plenty of comfy room. Next, the styling is so much better than what a lot of people may remember minivans being. So personally, this wouldn't even really look so much like a minivan to me. No, it's got like a nice like crossover SUV kind of feel to it, I think. Yeah, I love the black, the black rims on there. The white just stands out. All the black trim on there stands out with the white paint. So just the styling of it in general, it, I just think it looks really sharp and really good. This is the sport version of this Chrysler Pacifica. Um, so uh, if you're looking at possible minivans, this is the one we have here. It's a 2021 uh, Chrysler Pacifica Sport, and, but the styling and just the look of it, I think is outstanding. Let's take a close look at the front. Like even the front here with the grill, everything just looks real sharp and just really stands out on it, in my opinion here. So styling is a plus. Let's take a little closer look at the inside for all of you. So plenty of cup storage, which is a really nice feature. You got more storage down there. A little look at the main dash there. Uh, all the controls, really easy to use. And then the front dash there and you got radio controls and all your buttons there to navigate everything. So ease of use, uh, very, very, real easy to use, don't you think? Oh yeah, absolutely. So another plus for a minivan, the gas mileage is, is good. Fantastic. Yeah. Especially to be such a large vehicle, um, it gets great gas mileage. Yeah, so like I so said, we have a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica and this one on the highway average is about 30. Mm -hmm. um, and so in, in town's about 22-ish. So- uh, Hard to beat. Overall, for a big vehicle, the gas mileage is really good. Now, if you are looking at getting a minivan, the one thing we would suggest for sure, um, we have a dog and- uh, Fluffy dog. And when we bought this, it was a, during a time when uh, 
you know, cards were hard to get. They still kind of are. And uh, so we didn't, the, there, we have cloth seats. And a golden retriever. It's not the best of mixes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, her hair, obviously, she sheds a bunch. And when she's in the car, the hair just is it everywhere. It sticks to it, things. It's crazy. So if you're looking to get a minivan, especially if you have uh, pets, you may want to get, uh, don't get the cloth option. It's a bad call. Very. So we have had our 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Sport for um, about five, six months mm -hmm. now. And we have about 10,000 miles on it. And, and it, I love it more and more every day. The ride is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, it is such a smooth ride too. Uh, and yeah, so, so far so good. Like I said, the only thing we do different about it is not have the cloth seats, but other than that. It's been the most perfect vehicle so far. Yeah, so if you're thinking about getting a minivan and you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. We will be glad to help you any way we can. And uh, that's it. All right. Bye, Safe travels.